How cool is this? We're enjoying it. The, the excitement that is um, within the state and the fans of Kentucky basketball is incredible. Um, we've not seen it like this in a long time, so it's, it's fun to watch, it's fun to be a part of, and it's exciting for Reed and his teammates to get to experience it. Well, I mean, he's kind of lived through it, you know. He's, he's uh, been through autograph sessions where uh, other players were um, uh, playing at Kentucky and, you know, he got to meet them and he got to, to get their autograph. So uh, th this concept isn't new to him. It's new for him being the guy giving the autograph. But uh, he's, he's seen it, he's kind of lived through it. And so it, it, it is, like Stacy said, it's really neat to see uh, the fans come out, their excitement, hear their stories, and uh, kind of see the, the joy that this brings to families, especially the kids. We love seeing the little kids. And uh, just because just a few years ago, that, that was Reed, and we know how special it was for Reed to be able to meet some of the players too. And you, know, you talk about all these little kids. I mean, there's so many kids up here that are gonna, that are dreaming of becoming, you know, the next reach ever. I mean, what does that mean to you guys? That there's all these kids that are aspiring to be your, be like your son. Well, I think it's good for them just to see, you know, just a Kentucky kid that's living out his dream and just playing basketball the right way and giving back to the game. You know what he's been given and. Um, you know, just embracing all of the all of everything that comes with it, and uh, you know, if if Reed can be a positive mentor to these little kids, you know, he's not perfect by any means, but you know, he is he is a good guy for them to look up to and to know that anything is possible if, if you just keep working and you do things the right way. He's nice. We've went to his North Laurel games. Yeah. Oh yeah. We followed him off in high school. Did y'all watch the game yesterday? Yes. yes. What did you What did you guys think when Reed went to the free throw line with like 0.5 I, seconds? I banged my head on the, uh, the bedroom <laughs> I thing. I was so nervous. I was I hit my head. I, I was begging him to make those. I, I was nervous too. He didn't seem nervous. No. He was up there smiling. He, yeah, he was just smiling ear to ear. How long have you guys been waiting in line? Um, for like an hour. Now. For an hour. Being able to see not only Reed but his parents too, seeing all of the old Kentucky players, it's, it's really cool to see. I was good at just whispering in his ear and thinking that, you know, a full four years would be appropriate. I think so. Don't you think? Yeah. But uh, we're just thankful. We're excited for Reed and, uh, you know, trying to be there as much as we can and support him and, and, and enjoy the moment. And uh, it's already January. We're already in SEC play. It's just feel like it's just flying by. Yeah, it does. Um, you know, it's like we waited forever for Reed to get to Kentucky. And then we waited all summer for them to go to Toronto. And then we got back and we waited for the season to start. And it's like, it's just, of course, it goes by really, really fast. And I was trying to tell Reed, you know, once SEC starts, they start playing two games a week. I said, you thought it was fast before. I said, it's going to be over before you know it. I mean, it feels like Christmas was yesterday and we're mid-January already. So we're just trying to enjoy each and every day and, you know, help, help Reed stay in the moment and just enjoy it and take it all in.